Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 47. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we're going to be going over how to use the 3D tool within XR. And basically, what that means is you're going to learn how to create objects that have extrusions. And extrusions are basically, again, this is allowing you to make a 3D object in your workspace. So let's assume that you sell a product. You may need to draw that product. And that 3D tool is going to allow you to create something with depth that will allow you to simulate that product or service that you have to offer. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with the tutorial. If you haven't already, start a blank new document in the XR Web Designer 7 Premium software. And once you do that, let's go ahead and go to our quick shapes in the toolbar and select the rectangle tool or whatever tool that you choose and go ahead and draw a rectangle and in this case I'm going to change the color by going to the color editor in the lower left hand corner and I'm going to give it some color then once you pick the color that you want go ahead and close out the color editor and then go to the 3D tool and you'll know the 3D tool by looking at the letters the letter and the number it'll say 3d and then it'll say extrude tool and this is going to allow you to create that 3d object so once you select the 3d tool go to your quick shape that you just drew and you should see a crosshair with four arrows next to your 3d box for your cursor and you should see that on your screen and when you see that that's just basically letting you know that hey you're about to rotate this into a 3d object so left click hold down your left click mouse button and drag and you can rotate it in any direction that you want to now if you place your cursor on a certain side of this 3d object you'll see that now it has two arrows rather than four arrows that looks like a cross here well when you see two arrows that means that you can increase or decrease the depth of the extrusion width for the 3D object and as you see if I pull outward it goes outward and if you left click and drag inward it pulls the object in so if you left click and drag outward it increases the extrusion depth and if you press inward it decreases the extrusion depth and if you go on a certain side of the 3D object where you see the four arrows that looks like a crosshair it allows you to rotate the 3D object around its axis. So hopefully that made sense to you. I know this is our first time going over how to use the 3D tool within XR. Now let's say that you can't find uh, the the four the four crosshairs. Maybe you're trying to find it but you can't see how we got this object on its on this perfect side where you can't see the the four crosshairs for the arrows. Like no matter where I place this cursor at on this object it won't show the four crosshairs that allow me to rotate the object, but I can increase or decrease the width of the extrusion depth. Well, sometimes this will happen where you're not able to get to the four crosshairs. You only see the two, two arrows next to your cursor and next to the 3D box. So when this happens where you can't get those four arrows to show up around your cursor, you're gonna go to your info bar. And when you go to your info bar, you're gonna look for this first drop down menu where it says extrude depth and this is basically this first drop down menu here is for all your extrusion parameters and that's going to allow you to control the extrusion parameters so when you left click on this drop down menu you're going to look for an option that says angle and you'll see that the first two the first three options are angles you have angle one angle two angle three where well, you're going to want to go to angle two and angle 2 is going to allow you to adjust the rotation of your extrusion and when you adjust this slider here with make sure you have angle 2 selected by the way you'll be able to adjust the rotation of your extrusion and when you adjust that you'll eventually have it where you'll be able to see a certain side that allows you to again get those four um, arrows on the crosshair that allow you to drag your extrusion and rotate it around its 3D axis. So that's how you, you use the angle to 
allow you to rotate that again so sometimes that will happen and that's the reason I showed you that is because I want you to know how to get those four crosshairs again in case you're at a position like this where you can't see the four crosshairs the only thing you can do in this position is adjust the width or the distance of the depth of the extrusion so to get back to that make sure you have angle 2 selected and again voila you're able to access the part where you're able to rotate it around its 3D axis so now let's talk a little bit about adjusting the lighting you probably noticed that it looks kinda dark and dull if you want to adjust the lighting for your 3D object you would go ahead and you would go to your drop down menu and your info bar again and you would go to light angle one and if you don't see these three arrows that you see pointing towards the 3D extrusion go to your info bar and make sure the option for show lights is selected which is here you'll see kinda of like a light bulb with the little zigzag kind of design in it if that's not pressed down you won't see the lights around it but if you press this key down left click on it you'll see that there's three arrows that point towards the 3d extrusion so let's go back to the info bar and if you look at light light angle one which is the first one that I have selected here make sure you have that selected if you adjust your slider it will adjust the angle of that light one and as you can see it'll give more brightness to the front or the side however you want to do it and if you go to light angle two for light one which so we're doing, dealing with the same light but we're changing the angle it'll go down or up so when you want to go down or up choose the second angle for light one and when you want to go left to right choose light one angle one and it'll let you go left to right so left to right for light for angle one for light one and choose light one angle two to go up and down and I'm gonna kinda put my light one more in front of the object okay and then let's go to light two angle one if you go to light two angle one it brings the light left to right and if you go to light two angle two it allows you to go up or down and adjust the lighting and if you go to light three angle one again you can go left to right and if you go to light three angle two you can go up or down so that's how you adjust the lighting for your extrusion um, object or your 3d object now let's go ahead and look at well let's see what we got here we're not going to really cover perspective in, the, in depth we're just going to click on it right quick here and just do a quick demonstration well yeah okay there we go the further you increase this value the deeper the perspective so you can see that this object appears to be longer when you increase the perspective and shorter when you decrease it so it's just adjusting the perspective if you don't know what a perspective is I highly recommend you go look that word up online and get a full understanding of it but in this case you can see me adjusting the perspective in our workspace in XR so I'm gonna leave that that perspective as long as possible and I'm gonna keep it at 64 so now you know how to adjust the extrusion parameters and you have a general idea of how that works let's go ahead and take a look at the other options you have for the bevel type now for the bevel type you can make it really rounded and before we go any further actually I'm gonna turn off the show lights option in our info bar so deselect this option here so that way we can see the object and we don't have anything blocking our view so let's go ahead and increase the roundedness of the bevel type and as you can see it's more rounded as I increase this value and I'm gonna kinda rotate that some so you can kinda see what it looks like so now it looks really round you know very unique shape here that you see now let's go ahead and go to another option let's go to squared and you see that it's very sharp in this case for our object rather than being round the edges are really sharp and if we go to round and cut you now see that it kinda cuts the object and we have a cut in extrusion and we can adjust the, the depth 
of this extrusion. We can increase it really large like that or you can make it really small. So there's a really lot of cool features that you have when you're dealing with the extrusion uh, tool. There's a, a lot of options here. I'm not going to go over all the options because there's way too many but just feel free to experiment with the uh, the different bevel types. As you can see this one looks really cool too and you get some really cool shapes that can allow you to make some very complex objects. So let's go ahead and and go to well you won't be able to follow me for this part but I'm going to go ahead and show you some things that I've created or a thing that I've created using the extrusion tool or the 3D tool within XR. So let's go ahead and close this out. You no longer will need this uh, page. You have the general concepts of how to use the 3D tool. Uh, I may make another tutorial and show you some more things with the 3D tool but for right now uh, those are the things that we will uh, keep as our, our focus point. So just to recap you learn how to use the first drop down menu here for extrusion parameters to adjust your light angle your extrude depth your perspective and your different light angles and on the other side you learn how to use the bevel types and you can adjust the bevel types by selecting any of these options and then using your slider here to control that bevel size so I hope that you understood uh, how to use those options if you have any questions uh, please feel free to send me a message on YouTube but let me go ahead and show you what I've created with the bevel tool I'm sorry not the bevel tool the 3d tool so do not call that the bevel tool it's actually the 3d tool those are two different uh, two different tools within a toolbar so definitely important to keep those separated so this is the 3d tool don't forget it so let's go ahead and discard that you don't really need to keep it now as you can see here I created uh, a fictitious box for candy bars and I called it cocoa bars and you can see here that I have some 3d extrusions and if you click on it and rotate it around you'll see that oh okay that is a 3d extrusion tool that made those chocolate bars and you can adjust the the depth of the extrusion if you want to and I'm gonna reset that back but you can see quickly here that you can make realistic product labels using the 3D extrusion tool to create or simulate a food product. In this case, I simulated chocolate. And even for this box that you see here, that was partially created with the extrusion tool to give depth to this box and make it look realistic. So there's an unlimited number of things that you probably could do with the extrusion tool. And as you can see, I, I created a simulation of chocolate using the 3D extrusion tool and there's plenty other things that you could use it for but I just wanted to show you the power and value of using the uh, 3D extrusion tool so that you don't just take my word for it but you see real world examples of how you could implement it into your business so thanks again for viewing this tutorial and if you have any questions please feel free to shoot me a message on YouTube uh, leave a comment give a thumbs up share the video embed the video if it's helpful to you and uh, if you have you know any suggestions for future tutorials please feel free to contact me uh, and I'll try to make a tutorial that will um, help you increase your understanding of how to use the XR software thanks again for viewing this viewer this thanks again for <laughs> viewing this video wow my words are getting twisted again uh, you know I hope that you continue to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day yeah.